What's up everybody, Loopy Fist here. And today we're gonna to be talking about the new Marvel Snap card, Hercules, that should be coming out either in a few hours or it might be out right now, depends on when this video goes live. Um, pretty much he's gonna be a four, six card and his ability is to move the first, well, the first time that another car moves here, each turn, move it to another lane. Um, it seems pretty simple on paper to me. I don't know exactly how he's gonna work. Um, I guess we gotta have to test it out when we get him. But to me, it seems to me that he can be either a, the first time any car moves there, then it triggers and that's it, it's done. Or is it saying the first time that that car moves there that turn? Cause to me, it can be kind of crazy if it's that. Um, but if it's the one that was earlier said, then it's just gonna be kind of, boring almost if you ask me um almost like a stag run that stays in one lane and when something moves over there then there you go um i don't know if he's gonna be very groundbreaking compared to the other cars that are coming out this season um i know we have scar we have kaira and we have a lot of other ones too um that are really looking kind of spicy we haven't gotten them we haven't gotten to them yet but um, hopefully he's going to still be able to hold up with the rest of the competition that's coming out this season. Um, do I think he's going to be that great? I guess it just depends on how how his um, ability is going to be interpreted, to be, to be honest with you. But that's, that's the main thing that I think. So I do want to talk about a few synergies that this card is going to be having. So let's go look into that real quick. Okay, so first off, this card is gonna have a lot of synergy with obviously move cards. Um, these are the cards that you can actually move your cards with. Uh, of course, you have Absorption Man here because he can copy the abilities of all these other cards in here, but you have stuff like Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, Nico. Of course, she does have one of her six spells to be a move to the right card. Um, Doctor Strange just pulls in the most powerful card. Now, the thing about that is that you do have to hope that the car that you're pulling in is actually less than Hercules because Hercules is going to be a four six. So whatever knocks away, you're going to have to make sure that you combo it properly. Uh, plus, you don't really know where the car is going to be going. So that's something to think about as well. But at least, you know, it'll come back over there if you want to. But at the same time, it's supposed to be the first time. I know for a fact that it's the first time when a car gets there. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to combo or not, I don't think it's gonna really help you if you're trying to throw the same card in twice. So, cause out of the two scenarios that it could be, that I think it could be, that's not gonna be one of them. Uh, Phoenix Force, obviously, if you have Phoenix Force on top of the Human Torch, that's gonna go pretty crazy cause every turn you can literally just throw it back in there and throw it in there again. And you're getting two moves for the price of one each time. Um, and most people don't play a lot of move decks. So you're not going to have to worry about people, you know, taking your move instead. I'm pretty sure that it's what I'm, I think it's the second one. Cause if you really do think about it, it doesn't make sense for it to say the first car that moves there. Um, because move always happens first, right? If you have both your cards out that can move your opponent does too. If they both move into that lane, which one is first? So I think it kind of has to be the first one. I think I think it's just the first time that card moves over there. But that's not only that's the only thing that I really think gives it a little bit of weight. Um, then you got Heimdall. Now, if it works the way that I think it's gonna work, then it's gonna knock everything <laughs> kind of silly once you do that. So it's gonna be kind of weird. So these but these are all the cards that can move. Um, other cards there. Of course, we got Cloak too, kind of like a mini Heimdall if you want to say, you know, whatever you want to do with that. But I think that that's going to be interesting to say because it's going to be pretty powerful. Now, moving on to cards that obviously can control your opponent's cards. You have Juggernaut, you got Polaris, uh, Spider Man. The cool thing about Spider Man is that I'm assuming that when he pulls the card over there, He's also going to, you know, get thrown out as well. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really thinking that it's going to be that second thing that the way that I think the car is going to interact with it is a bit with its ability. 
but I can't really say for sure either way, but I guess we have to wait until we can test it. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just not sure. It's it's a really weird move to have on a car and the way that it's worded, and we all know how Marvel Snap has wording and semant semantics and stuff, so we have to figure it out. Magneto, of course. Um, let's see, an arrow, obviously gonna be pulling. I mean, honestly, with arrow, it's gonna be interesting because you know she got the rework recently where she actually pulls the last flip cards her opponent has up so with priority you're gonna know exactly what you're pulling and it could be pretty interesting stagger on of course um just gonna be very random he might not even knock the card into the hercules lane so we'll just have to see that's i know that's i know i'm saying a lot of that but really it's all speculation now um and Stegron, as cool as he is, he might not be that crazy. But um, with some of the changes that are happening um, soon, I think they should be coming out tomorrow as well. Um, with like Kingpin or whatnot, it's gonna be kind of crazy. Speaking of which, we have the, the other cards I wanted to talk about. Okay, so first of all, we got some changes that are gonna be happening soon. Uh, in particular to Kingpin, instead of killing cards whenever they land on turn six, he's now going to be reworked to giving them, I believe it's minus four power, which is kind of, kind of crazy. So, and I mean, the thing about it is that with, <laughs> with the way that this card is going to be working, it's going to be kind of crazy with Kingpin because that's going to be a lot of power that they're going to be losing every single time they go in there um and a cool thing with stagrons that you can knock cards out of that lane if they if they decide to fill it up now this, these are my super synergy cards by the way um that's why you might see zabu and say what the heck well hercules is a four drop so getting him out a little bit earlier might be it might just be the benefit that you need i mean um it's kind of like a mr negative kind of thing mr negative is fantastic on three and he's okay on four and he's all right on five i feel like that's kind of how it's gonna be with hercules depending on if he's good or not you can only trigger his ability one time per turn or maybe it's one time per turn per card i'm not sure yet like i said but if it is that one time per turn per card this is gonna mean zabu is gonna be very important because you're gonna want to get those triggers as much as you can and maybe just one extra trigger of hercules can be what can you know cost you a game so getting them out the earlier is the better props possibly um also kingpin is going to be going down in cost as well apparently Kingpin is going to be a two drop now which is interesting because we just had another three drop that got um changed uh last last season to a two drop and that was maximus which is fantastic because you see maximus a lot more now not only just in surfer decks which is really cool because he just became like a much more popular car. I think he was already kind of okay, but now you see him everywhere. But of course, things like Vulture and Human Torch and Dagger, they're definitely gonna be gaining a lot of real estate with this um, new card, simply because they're just, they movement cards are, they can be broken in a sense. Obviously, I don't think move is ever gonna be broken unless Second Dinner does something about it. But Human Torch, if you move him like three times, He's already like ginormous. Uh, same thing with Vulture. He just gains power fairly quickly. If he's moved, let's, let's say you lay down Vulture and then you somehow um, end up getting the um, Hercules out on turn maybe four. And then on turn five, you can move Vulture over and then move him again. That's already a 13 power Vulture. And then you can Heimdall if you want to and you get another five points of power. And let's not even talk about the rest of the things you have on the board. You have a bunch of multiple men on the board, just stonks increasing and increasing. Same thing with dagger. By the time you're going to have Hercules out and you're moving dagger around, there's going to be a lot of enemy cards out on the field as well. So she's going to be gaining a lot of power. So it's it's really interesting. And of course, just having Craven out somewhere, just, you know, randomly taking points from <laughs> from Hercules, uh, just batter batter swinging, knocking cards every which way and Silk may be going everywhere as well. He's gonna be really huge. Um, and Miles Morales is just in this list just simply because you're gonna be able to play him probably any turn you want to for one energy, which is kind of ridiculous because it's, how, how many, 
How many times have you been like, yo, I really wish I just had another like way to move my car. And you're all out of, you don't, you don't have Ghost Spider, you don't have Human Torch, Nico's trying to double her own power or turn somebody into a damn demon. And here you are, where, 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 where is my ammo? Well, if you have Hercules out, it's pretty cool because you always have a way to launch your cards out and still gain more power. So I do think that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, all right, of course you also have your self movers as well. Um, Phoenix Force could also fit into this list, but we have Nightcrawler, Martyr, Jeff, Silk, Captain Marvel, Werewolf, and Vision. So probably they're not gonna gain any power from moving besides Werewolf, but he does need an, an on reveal card to facilitate that power. Um, the cool thing is that these cards can just go in and get knocked out and they might, at, the, at the least they can maybe buff Craven. That's, that's basically it. Now, of course, Martyr and Captain Marvel are at the end of the game movers. So it could be a, a synergy with Craven. And at the end of the game, you know, Martyr says, oh, well, I have to move somewhere where I'm losing. And she moves over into the lane with Hercules and she gets knocked back. And now you're not losing anymore. So this could be a pretty cool synergy with Martyr, a car that did come out very weak, just got buffed recently. So there's a lot of cool things that can happen with that as well. Captain Marvel. Now I'm not gonna say whether or not that can be a good synergy or a bad. It might be the opposite for Captain Marvel because if she's moving, that means she's trying to win you the game. So unless you have Craven where she's at, could possibly be a blunder that you're not um, seeing in your future. So you really gotta think about these cars now if you're gonna have Hercules out. So that's the main thing that these cars are gonna be really uh, looked at for. All right, guys, here's the first deck we got from, we, we made on the stream tonight. Uh, this is Pinball. It's got your standard mo issue movement cards like Ghost Spider, Doctor Strange, Iron Fist. Um, we also have Human Torch in there, as well as Dagger and Craven. Those are gonna be your powerhouses right there. We got Kyera in here to protect your one drops because we know Killmonger is gonna be out lurking during this release of Hercules, definitely. Uh, we also got Martyr in here just because we think of the synergy that she's gonna have if she if she ends up moving into that lane the Hercules is in in the last at the end of the game then hopefully it'll move her we'll have to test it out and see of course Silk is in here to also add power to Craven and we got Beast and Falcon for a little bit of a bounce um, added to this movement deck right here because you're gonna be able to throw out your cards so often if you can get a really big Human Torch it'll be really nice. Uh, could probably also substitute some of these cards in here for maybe Tribunal. Uh, if you're moving Human Torch a lot and bouncing out, protecting them, you might be able to do something crazy with Living Tribunal. So try this one out, guys. Tell me um, if you think it's going to be really good, if it's going to be bad. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's move to the next deck. All right, the next one we got is Rock'em Sock'em. So this is a movement style deck, but it is a control movement style deck. So a little bit different than the last one. You're not gonna be gaining a whole lot of power with this one. You're gonna be trying to sap your opponents down below your level. Uh, you got Kingpin in here who should be getting a rework so that he's gonna be taking the energy off of the cars that are moved to him. Um, and it should be any turn, which is gonna be pretty cool. We've always wanted that with Kingpin, but we did you know he used to be a destroy card, but hopefully with this change, it'll be a little bit uh, better for him because he'll get a little bit more uh, play out of it. Uh, we got Polaris, we got Juggernaut, Stag Run, we got Absorption Man to just copy all those moves along as well as Arrow. So we got lots of control. Of course, we got the Big Daddy uh, Magneto down there as well. Um, he's also very much going to be controlling a lot of the threes and fours that your opponent's going to be dropping, um, which in this case hopefully can be Miss Marvel. Uh, you know, completely disrupting her play. Um, we also decided to throw in Lady Deathstrike. I know it's kind of weird. You guys know I like to do that with my decks, uh, throw in a little bit of a little bit of spice in there. But my whole thought is that some of those cards that you're gonna be moving around, if they get a negative four on them from Kingpin, I think it was negative four, it might be negative two. Either way, they're probably not gonna have the four power to withstand Lady Deathstrike. So you just drop her down and there you go. You can even perhaps clear out your Kingpin lane with Lady Deathstrike if those cards are still there. Um, gonna be really fun uh, just knocking cards around and just 
everything is going to be going crazy um when you knock them into that hercules lane i really think that this is going to be a pretty fun deck to play we did throw shang chi in there simply because there's a lot of big boys running around on the ladder so guys try out these decks tell me if you like them um if you do tell me which one you like the most down in the comments all right see you in the next one guys hey guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to click on my face right here to subscribe to the channel or you can also check out this video right here you guys have a great day bye